What's up, bros? What do you guys think of the lawn? No? What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayden, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I broke out the pith helmet because it is super hot today here in Florida. I mean, it's beautiful, but it just happens to be noon 30 right now and the sun is blazing. These are my favorite days and I've got a ton of work to do. And mainly today what I'm gonna do is get down my preventative application of fungicide across two parts of my lawn that I know I'm gonna need to give a little bit more protection to this year. As you guys will remember, I have a strategy that I call the bulletproof strategy when it comes to preventing disease, fungus, you know, that kind of outbreak in your lawn. And I'm gonna take you through that today, but this year I've got a little bit different of a twist on it and the twist is is that everything I've gotten can be purchased exactly at your local store like a Home Depot Lowe's Ace True Value that kind of thing you don't have to buy any kind of professional formulations or anything like that you can go right to the store right today and get it and get it done however before I get to that I have to mow this side of my lawn here this is my Flora Tam St. Augustine grass and in my last video I'll link the description below to that I actually showed you my weeknight lawn work that I did Thursday but I got rained out and I was not able to get to this part of the lawn so it's actually been growing now for eight days and that's after an app of Carbon X. So it is growing very, very quickly. That's one thing I can tell you Carbon X will do. It will get your lawn thick and growing and vigorous. There is no doubt about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the mow here. It's gonna be a little heavy mow. It's gonna be an overgrown mow. And so I'm gonna have to probably double cut it. And you know, I just hate having to double cut. It's just so terrible, but we're gonna, we're gonna work our way through it. Okay, so just let's get through this real quick. Now listen, if you're on the email list, please click below, sign up for the email list. I'll be sending complete written instructions that go along with this video as well as in the description below, I will link to my recent podcast where I talked about this strategy in that form, more long form talking form as well. So there'll be three resources here for this. There'll be this video, there'll be the podcast video, and then on the email that I'll send out Tuesday, I'll send out details, written details on this strategy. So make sure you sign up for the free email list if you're not already on it. So the bulletproof strategy is this. We use two different products. Now one is a granular and one is a liquid. That's not the remarkable part of it. The remarkable part of it is this is two different modes of action. This is called a Zoxystrobin. That's the active ingredient here. It's the same thing that's in the professionally formulated product Heritage. And then this is propiconazole, which is a very famous fungicide, I guess would be the way to say it. It's been around forever. I used it a long, long time ago as well. So we have two different fungicides here. And again, I don't care that one's a liquid and one's a granular. That's just the way it happens to be. What I care about is two different modes. This is called a group 11 fungicide, and it's just the mode of action, a group 11 fungicide. And this is a group three. They just have two different ways that they keep the disease from manifesting itself. And what that does is that means then when you use two different modes of action, the disease would have to overcome both of those in order to manifest, and that's quite unlikely. The other thing that using two different modes of action does is it helps stop resistance in different fungus or disease, you know, that can create a resistance. If you're always using the same mode of action, like if you're always using propiconazole over and over and over and over and over, eventually the disease can become resistant to it. But if you're using two different modes, it makes that really hard for the disease to do that and adapt. So that's the strategy there. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, as I'm sure that this will be coming out right around Mother's Day. But the Bulletproof strategy again, Scott's Disease X and Bio Advanced Liquid. These are available at any store in the US. And in fact, these are all the same for all different lawn types. And there's not these won't interfere with other applications you're doing. Make sure you read the labels, which we're gonna do today. But you can apply these pretty much anytime. There is one restriction on this one of not applying over 85 degrees. We'll start with the Disease X. Again, a Zoxystrobin. 
is the active ingredient here and we're just going to go through this real quick you should read all of this up here it does prevent patch disease or rhizoctonia which is what i'm trying to prevent here in my zoysia and also in my palmetto st augustine we'll talk about the areas to treat in a moment remember we are going with a preventative rate here so we need this two pounds per thousand but of course this is a scott's product so they're always really good about telling you exactly what to do if you have a scott spreader you just set it on setting two and a quarter and you're good to go but we still want to know that we put enough down we still want to know that things were done right so we still want to do a little bit of math just so at the end you can feel like yeah i got a good application this bag weighs 10 pounds so that means that this bag will cover 5,000 square feet because at two pounds per thousand we have 10 pounds we can get 5,000 square feet out of it well that just happens to be perfect because the areas that i'm treating today here I'm gonna treat section three, which is my Palmetto St. Augustine, and I'm gonna treat section four, which is my zoysia. If you have zoysia, I 100% recommend that you put down a preventative treatment just like this in the spring leading into the summer. I do talk about the disease triangle in all of my eBooks, which you can read below, but I also talk about it in the podcast. Also, if you have turf type tall fescue, 100%, you definitely wanna put something down. Dollar spot disease, which comes in in late spring, early summer for Kentucky bluegrass and rye, also a concern. Lots of different reasons to apply, but for sure, St. Augustine, zoysia, and turf type tall fescue i highly recommend that you use this strategy in the late spring leading into summer so section three that i'm going to be doing is 2500 square feet and section four that i'm going to be doing is also 2500 square feet and so that's good so i need basically one bag of product to do my two areas and so there we have it disease x i always again i always write everything down in a journal i go through it i read the labels i kind of write down my strategy what am i doing this really helps me to understand so i have confidence when i'm out doing my app that I've read all the instructions and I understand these are not that difficult. These are written in a very easy to understand form. You know, I don't want you to be scared of this. Don't be scared of any of this. Section three is gonna get five pounds and section four is gonna get five pounds. So that's that. So we'll go do that application first. So I'll tell you guys, like I've told you before, these are not super high precision pieces of equipment. And I actually had to get mine dialed up to a setting three in order to get really anything to come out. This is a really low rate application, only two pounds per thousand. So it's not much anyway. And these spreaders, again, are not super high precision. So dialed mine up to a three. You can see here, it still doesn't look like there's a lot coming out, but all you gotta do is just watch the amount going down in the hopper. Just use your eye. You could tell in my case, I can tell when half is done. Now I try and get mine all done in a single pass, but if you find you need to make two passes, just go the opposite direction. Keep going over the area until you've put out the product evenly. If you think you applied a little bit too much with this, it's not gonna hurt anything, so don't worry. And even though it doesn't say on the label, you should definitely go ahead and get it watered in. Just a quarter inch of water is all it needs. We're still in late spring and coming into early summer here, and you're gonna get some rain help within the next few days. I have no doubt about that. Keep in mind, we do have a liquid fungicide application coming up right after this, and if you wanna count that as watering in, that would be fine too. Now the second application we're going to do is the Bio Advanced and we'll look at this label just a little bit more because this is more of a traditional what you're used to seeing. This is called Ready to Spray and this also covers 5,000 square feet so that's nice that I can buy one of each and I can do my full app. I don't have to have leftovers or anything like that and that's one of the nice reasons that they make these or, or formulate these products. It's one of the nice reasons they do it in homeowner type sizes because then we don't have to sit here and store a bunch of leftovers. We get what we need and we're good to go. So again I wanted to make sure this was going to go after the problems that I'm you know going after here and you can see there rhizoctonia brown patch there's dollar spot on there gray leaf spot is, a, is something you'll see in st augustine grass but you know it's not anything i worry about but i'm glad i'm going to be taking care of that here we go how much to use so obviously first determine the area to be treated yes that's right and we did that we determined the area because we have a property map the second thing apply entire 32 ounce bottle to 5,000 square feet it should take five to six minutes to empty the container over the treatment area so since i have two areas i have one section that's 2500 and another section that's 2500 i'm going to use half the bottle on each and i should have about three minutes so that's how i know that i'm doing it right and it also has a sight sight line or a sight glass on the side although i don't know how easy that is to see that we'll see when we're spraying it does have that and then of course just do the old shake just feel it you can feel how what it weighs and you kind of know so a little bit a little bit of guesswork here but you know no shame in this game. You're not going to hurt anything. Don't don't be scared of it. So, section three and section four, three minutes each. 
Now there are a couple that you could do at a higher rate if you needed something, Fusarium Blight, which is uh, what you guys will see up in, you know, I've seen it through Illinois where there's like a brown circle with a green spot in the middle, that's Fusarium Blight. So you, you would need to go a little heavier if you have some of those issues, but we're going at the preventative rate. So again, this, this bottle is gonna cover 5,000 square feet. One other thing I did wanna point out, it's always best to read the whole label. There's, cause this will answer so many of your questions, especially ones, hey, Alan, if it rains after, what happens? Here you go, rain after watering after spray has dried will not wash away effectiveness. So one of the other ones is people ask me how often can I apply or when should I reapply? Well, it's right here. This product is highly effective when used to prevent disease or when applied at first sign of disease. To prevent damage, start treating when conditions are favorable for disease. We'll talk about the disease triangle. We talk about that in my podcast link below. And treat every 30 days. So you could reapply this every 30 days for preventative. Now you do have a max amount of times that you can use it every year. Do not apply more than 16 times per year at a rate of 32 ounces per thousand. So you could do 16 apps a year of this. I hope you don't have to do that and I don't recommend you do that. But if you wanted to, you could do 16 apps a year of this. But as a preventative, once every 30 days during the, you know, maybe twice, I wouldn't think you need to do this more than twice leading into summer. If you do, go ahead and do a third one every 30 days. You'll be all good. So this is footage from just this morning about 8.30. I went ahead and postponed doing the liquid application of the propiconazole until this morning because if you'll remember, I did mention there is an 85 degree heat restriction on this product. The reason is, is because of the mode of action here. This is a DMI fungicide and basically it's a growth regulator or a growth inhibitor. And if you were to put that on a lawn that is stressed from heat, it could stunt it pretty hard. Not gonna kill it, but could stunt it really hard. So that's why they had that heat restriction on there. Now you could have done this late in the evening, but I decided to wait and do it this morning here because I like getting up with the sun, doing a little early spraying and praying. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Don't forget to subscribe to the email because I'll be sending out written instructions that go along with this video and the podcast. It's also linked below. We'll go ahead and talk about costs and how much per application and a little bit more detail into reapplications in time. With that, I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Doctor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.